Krampus. He would come in the night for you. He would leave no trace of you for your family to find on Christmas Day. Every year on Christmas Eve, Johnny would play a game with his dad. And every year, much to Johnny's dismay, he would lose. The game was simple. His father would dress up as Santa Claus and put out the Christmas presents during the night. Johnny and his mom would put out cookies and milk as was customary for the visitor from the North Pole. Now, his dad never admitted he was dressing up as Santa Claus. But Johnny had been suspicious for the past two years when he caught a glimpse of his mom giving Santa a kiss. This year, however, would be different. He had set his alarms for every 30 minutes, his slippers were waiting at his bedside, and Rover, his French bulldog, was on guard duty. They were both ready to spring into action the moment they heard a noise from downstairs. Being the confident child he was, he had given his father fair warning that tonight was the night. He would prove that his father was indeed Santa Claus. His father made the usual overzealous laugh and acted like it was the most ridiculous thing he'd ever heard. No, no, no. Santa lives in the North Pole. Johnny wasn't falling for it this year. He was going to stay up all night if need be. Johnny's father decided a change of tactic was in order. He warned little Johnny what happens to naughty little boys. They weren't just put on Santa's naughty list. In Johnny's father's homeland, they had far greater things to fear. Krampus. He would come in the night for you. He would leave no trace of you for your family to find on Christmas Day. Little boys who don't sleep when their parents tell them to were naughty. And Krampus comes for the naughty children. Johnny had heard the stories of Krampus before. But he hadn't considered that disobedience might cause Krampus to come visit him. His father kept him busy throughout the day, no doubt to ensure a good, deep night's sleep and victory once more in their little Christmas Eve game. Come 9 p.m., Johnny could hardly keep his eyes open. He resigned himself to another loss this year and promised next year would be different. Something stirred him from his sleep. What was it? Had he heard a bobble hitting the floor? What time was it? just past midnight. Wait, Santa Claus? No, his father in disguise. And he was up and now his adrenaline started to flow. This was it. He would catch him red-handed this year. He woke up Rover and quietly put his slippers on. He headed down the stairs and heard the Christmas tree rustling. He could see the shadows of the fireplace still burning. Santa Claus down the chimney, eh? With the fireplace lit? He stopped at the foot of the stairs and prepared to give his father a good fright. Rover by his side at the ready. Finally, it was his turn. As he jumped around the corner and screamed, he saw his father hunched over by the fireplace. To his dismay, it didn't seem startled. I got you. I knew it. <laughs> Finally, I got you, Dad. Or should I say, Santa Claus? The shadow appeared to turn and face him. Only the fireplace alight, he couldn't make out his father's face. The shadow then grew, and grew, up the wall. It must have stood eight feet tall. Then it laughed, not a human laugh, but some ungodly creature's snarl and laugh combined. The smell of rotten eggs suddenly permeated the air. Johnny felt like he was shrinking. This wasn't his dad. He heard a muffled scream and something caught his eye in the corner of the room. His father, in a Santa Claus outfit, was huddled, blood on his forehead, eyes bloodshot. Krampus took a step towards him and whispered, Merry Krampus Eve, Johnny. You shouldn't be awake. Don't know about you guys, but I'm not hoping for a visit from Krampus this year. Santa would be okay, but... Not Krampus. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video and we wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe and share. Anyway, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Later. Okay. Bye bye. Love you all.